Supreme Court of Iran confirmed a couple of weeks ago his death sentence. So he can uh, be executed at any moment. He um, witnessed uh, the so-called massacre of Mashar in uh, 2019, where the um, Revolutionary Guards basically shot many protesters um, that were unarmed. And he is believed to be one of the uh, last uh, witnesses that is alive. So uh, he sits in prison and he got sentenced to death. And when his uh, wife, he's a father of three, and when his wife uh, received the news of his death sentence, um, she got a heart attack and died. The Supreme Court of Iran confirmed a couple of weeks ago his death sentence. So he can uh, be executed at any moment now. I wrote two letters to the ambassador of Iran in Vienna uh, asking for news for any explanation uh, about uh, Abbas Daris and I haven't received any response. And it was the third time for me um, being present in front of the embassy. Uh, the first time I wanted to hand over my letter to the ambassador. He, I knocked on the door, he didn't open. Um, so last time I said, okay, I'm going uh, again in front of the embassy. And if they don't respond, I stick uh, a picture of Abbasteri to their door. And immediately after I did that, the door opened and the guy didn't talk to me at all. I wanted to talk to him. I wanted to talk to the ambassador. And he just he just called uh, the soldiers, um, the guards in front of the embassy, um, basically to, to remove me, which was not really friendly and also not really constructive. Yeah, I want them to know that the world is noticing. The world is watching what they're doing. They were, the world is seeing their crimes against humanity. First of all, for me, as I said, it is important that they know that we are noticing what they're doing, that the world is watching them. Second, for me, it is also important that the people sitting in prisons in Iran, the political prisoners are not just numbers, that we spread their names around the world and also their stories. Third. Yeah, I think it is important that we also confront the representatives, the official representatives of Iran in our countries, wherever we are, um, and yeah, to write letters, uh, to do whatever we can. The regime, like any other government, they want to, they worry about their reputation. They want to have good relations with other countries. They want to have trade with other countries. Uh, what we do see is that negotiations and international pressure do have an effect on the regime. I think it is even more important to continue with the pressure and to continue to, well, to let this regime know that uh, we know what they're doing and that we will not forget the names and the people that they have imprisoned. Um, what they are afraid is the spotlight. I have two kids myself and uh, Abbas Taris has three kids from eight to 16 years old. They have no mother, they live with their old and poor grandmother. And he has done nothing wrong, nothing. The re this regime will wants to kill him and these kids will end up on the street. And this is, as a father, this is really, it gives me, even now when I'm talking about it, it gives me goosebumps and it makes me so angry uh, because, you know, this guy has, he was at the wrong place um, at the wrong time, basically. That's what, what uh, and he, he witnessed injustice. That's what he did. As a, as a politician, as someone who believes in the rule of law, what is striking to me is that it's, totally unclear um, why he is jailed in the first place, that basically he was tortured in jail in order, you know, to, to get a confession, a wrong confession.